Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, just before I begin, I would like to wish you all a happy new year. Uh, all the best to you in 2024. Have a safe and happy holiday. Now let's get to your reading. All right, so who this person... Uh, what's heavily on their mind is the Ten of Swords, okay? Uh, right up until the moment they make a decision, okay? They, they're sitting in the consequences of, of an action they took that they, they never for actually foresaw or actually believed that this would happen. It's like, they just didn't see that coming from the action they took. I feel like somebody made a power play. But they never expected to lose. They never expected that this could happen to them. So they never, although they made a power play which appeared like they were ending it, they never really wanted to end it. And they never thought it would end. But it did. It did. And so, um, here we have them sitting, waiting, um, trying to weave a plan, uh, trying to figure out how to change things. Um, action is on hold. And growth is on hold here, like new growth. This new beginning that they desire is on hold right now because they're in suspension. And the Ten of Swords sits right in the middle on, in the reverse on this. So here they are sitting in the consequence of the Ten of Swords. And believe me, they never saw this coming. They just didn't expect this. This wasn't part of their plan. The, you know, the plan was they would do the power play and then they would get what they wanted, you know. But that it didn't go that way. Um, and so, naturally, they don't want this ending, but they don't really know how to fix this, okay. They don't know, really know what to do because action is on hold and the new beginning is on hold. And she is uh, representing the one. So, this person um, is the one for them and the, and then when I say them this could be your energy or this could be the other person's energy only you will know okay if this is happening to you if this is the other person's energy then they think of you as the one they would have made a power play uh with you and it, it didn't work otherwise it's the other way around okay you would have made a power play so Anyway, so here they sit. Um, they want, um, they're trying to find the best solution with this Nine of Wisdom to be able to have uh, this talk. Uh, they're, they're very tempted to have this, uh, this talk. Uh, if it's happening to you, then they're very tempted to reach out to you to have this conversation. Um, I feel like this is about facing you. Um, I think that they're very afraid to face you with... Uh, in general, I, I feel like it's more like what they have to say. Uh, maybe they're afraid to tell you what they have to say. Um, they're afraid to open up their heart to you. Maybe they're afraid to get hurt. Uh, or maybe they're afraid that you won't forgive them for whatever happened here in the Five of Swords energy between you. There's That's the power play, you know. So they sit here uh, waiting, watching. So we know that they're watching you. Um, trying to get the bigger picture uh of things of maybe of how you might feel um see here we go again there's the 
uh, the temptation. Um, we have it here also. Here you see that they, sitting next to it, uh, this can also be their fears. Um, here they are. See, oh, look, look at, look at that. <laughs> so here they are. Uh, they're standing here in the Eight of Cups. They're not moving because they don't want it to end. They don't want to leave. There's been issues, yes, and they have issues, yes, and they're not sure uh, that the other person loves them the way they love them, you know, but they, they never wanted to leave. They still want to drink from the cup. Look at them. I feel like they wanted something and they weren't getting it and so they made they planned and they made a move that was deceptive in some way yeah they created an illusion that was this was all it's like smoke and mirrors Now, here they lie in the consequence of their action. Look where the cup is. Look on the wall above his head. Look where he's placed that. He's still in love. He still wants that cup. He still dreams about it. Look at the open book that he took out of the trunk there. And he's remembering. The person standing next to him, I want to point that person out represents help okay now that message is also uh appearing over here on the five of coins uh a card of um that there is help available help available but they must choose to reach for it here they're not choosing okay not yet they want this really bad whatever they're they're remembering here they want it back um this is about it's like they want their heart really wants to reach for the rose you know they that really wants uh this love um oh god but um the, the it's like the swords the the thoughts uh, get in the way their fears may hold them prisoner um, this is see what they're thinking about they're lying in bed and they're thinking about the fool who's bending down to reach for the rose <clears throat> and they're thinking about returning to someone and getting to the root issue uh, okay and um, but here on this we we have the tiger and it's about doing something risky and um, maybe uh, maybe it's something that they're really wishing for and hoping for with the star um, but they're not sure that it would be uh, successful um, the star the star speaks to guaranteed success but they're not sure that it it would be guaranteed this is something it is a wish that is really close to their heart and uh, that they this is something they're really wishing for and really literally they feel ill look how frail they are because they've lost that cup okay But they haven't really lost it. I mean, it's there right above their head. They have but to reach for it. And, and that's the thing. They have but to, uh, to make a choice. There's a, you know, it's, they must make the decision. The thing is, this person is not helping themselves. And the overall message here would be for them to choose to help themselves here. Okay? 
because that is the overall message here on this five of coins. The, their wishes is within reach. They don't feel it's in, in, within reach. But look, there's the star and there's the star again over here. It is within their reach. It's not as bad as they think it is. Okay. All right, so... There's a decision that needs to be made on the, what? The Ten of Swords. But this card speaks to, whoop, I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to get, you know. Uh, I don't know what to expect here. Um, I'm not really good with these surprises, you know, because they know what they did here. Um, and they... It's almost like they don't know what is that final consequence, you know. It's like, ooh, having to, having to face up, go and face their fears here and have the door slammed in their face. Well, that would be their worst nightmare. <laughs> that would be like the final consequence, you know. And they've already suffered quite a bit, you know. But um, here we have the tankard, okay. And so uh, this card is... I feel it's about um, a celebration of some kind. And um, I feel like somebody is hoping in this case. Uh, it's a decision to change that Ten of Swords energy, uh, a situation that ended badly. And hoping and praying and keeping your fingers crossed that uh, there will be good cause for celebration in the future. Okay, that's that's what I think there that this is, and um, I feel like this person is transforming. There's an inner transformation occurring with this person because they do have the skull here and the transformation card here, so something is changing in this person. Now, if they have been stuck in this energy for some time, they are beginning to uh, to come out of this. Okay, so this is not going to last last much longer. And so um, the skull could be that reality check that they're getting that, it well, if I don't do something, nothing is ever going to change. That's uh, possible. It can be a change in thinking from an old way to a new way, shedding the skeletons of the past, which I, I also feel is going on here. Um, transformation. Uh, it could be that they are... Um, here, it's this card. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at what's under that. Ghost of the past. So they're haunted by the ghosts of the past. Uh, they wish to shed those ghosts of the past. And there's only one way they can really do that. They've got to get the courage to go and face their fears here. They, they're going to have to face their fears. Um, something... This egg here, that was there a place of security where they felt they belong. It's cracked. Something spilling out of it. So uh, something got spilled. Um, temptation. So somebody took a bite. You see of the apple. So um, somebody took a bite. A temptation that's the temptation to throw down that gauntlet I feel that happened something got cracked something got spilled and now this is shedding light on it I feel like this came out of the past or was caused from a ghost from the past and that's what was causing all of these insecurities here for this person so they want to have a reunion you know I'll just put this here for now so they want to have a reunion. That's a reunion. This is them thinking of a reunion. They are thinking of a reunion here. Uh, also here. It's like all over. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So this is a, a card of reunions. Um, so can this. Uh, it, but it, it, And this can also be uh taking a risk or a gamble so it feels a little risky and we had the same message over here uh to follow their heart to take this decision to actually uh put an end 
to the Ten of Swords energy, okay? This is that decision to get up and make change. So it's, it's like a reality check that this person gets that if they want uh, to change if they want to change their circumstances, if they want to change their life, if they ever want to be happy again, they need to get up and make this change. They need to face their fears. They need to speak their truth. Um, and um, this is a decision to do that. So the whale, he sits on top of this uh this message here and the whale speaks to great worry over nothing you know you see this big scary whale who emerges from the water and he's huge and uh it, it can be scary just by its size alone you know however the whale pays no attention to you and, and just kind of swims by you uh swims calmly away so this card indicates that uh, this person, whoever this energy belongs to, uh, will be faced with certain situations that will cause them a great deal of anxiety. However, as time passes, uh, the situations will disappear and you'll realize that you were worried for nothing. This is something that uh, this person is worrying about that is not as bad as it appears. Okay, this, situ this situation here that they're worrying over, this reunion. Um, and so this is back here. This is about reaching for that, um, for the goal, okay? Uh, you have the ladder. The ladder uh, shows uh, somebody who's, I feel like in this case, they're like climbing out from the bottom, from the bottom uh, where they hit rock bottom, and they're climbing out, you know? And yes, there are clouds here indicating temporary problems, just like the whale, but don't overthink them, you know, because things are not as bad as they appear. Um, there are some problems, some issues to overcome, but you will be successful. Whoever this energy belongs to, you will be successful. It's here, it's here, and it is over here, okay? You are going to get your wish. It's right here. It's telling you it's right at the end here. And so we have the hat, and the hat is uh, something that's changing within this person. That's what it speaks to. And it speaks to new starts, fresh ideas, new ways of thinking, you know. The bouquet um, indicates an apology or some a, a romantic expression. It can be making up. It can be a, a healing, uh, reconciling. Uh, a welcome surprise, maybe even a gift here uh, coming from this person. Um, and the wind chimes, you know, this is uh, uh, indicating that whatever you are experiencing that is causing you discomfort, you or them, whoever the energy belongs to, it's falling away. And there will be a return to peace and harmony. This uh, is a transition period. Okay. So um, definitely you will see a change for the better. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.